He made two exceptional plays where he kept his foot on the bag, dove up the right field line in one instance and dove the other way in the other instance as this one's lifted high and deep to left field. That's gone. Luis Liberato hits a home run and the Dominican Republic goes up 4-0 here in the top of the third. I said after Julio Rodriguez's second hit of the day and his first RBI of the day that he can't be stopped. Maybe it's just something with Seattle Mariners prospects. Everybody but Nunez has come to bat twice for the DR. Venezuela has not yet made it once through the order and another ball lifted in the air to left center field. Another ball deep and another ball gone. Second solo blast, second oppo job of the inning and it's five to nothing. I believe it is the only specific entry as he crushes one to left. Moving back is Palma at the warning track, leaping at the wall, and that ball is gone. And now the concern turns to Alexander Palma, who smashed into that wall in left field and is still down. Perez coming off a single in his last trip to the plate, and he swings and crushes one high and deep to left. A grand slam, and Venezuela is alive. One swing of the bat for Hernan Perez has given his team life. Line drive up the middle, diving pickup. The throw to first is in time. What a play, that's Yoni Hernandez. For the first out of the ninth. Even Gustavo Nunez walking to the plate right now is applauding that play. 0-2 pitch, back there to left field. That's gone. I guess Jeffrey Perez is feeling all right. An eight-run lead for the Dominican Republic. That's the largest lead of the day, 12 to four in the top of the ninth. And I will take back the previous award that we handed out to Hernan Perez for the bat flip of the tournament. I don't know. I mean, this was good, but Perez just now, that was a thing of beauty, the first base dugout. And a ball driven to center field, going back on it. Flores, he'll turn around, and that's the ball game. Juan Francisco walks it off, turns it into a 10-run game in the top of the ninth inning. It is 14-4. The Dominican Republic team is out to celebrate. They're getting word from the technical commissioners. Are we going to play on? Did the rules change for the Super Round? Looks like it. Okay. Why not? We have the qualifier format obviously different from the ordinary tournament format when we've had no run difference rule game for the medal games, the, yeah. the bronze medal game in the World Championship Finals in past tournaments. And now it's one and two. Barely goes further outside, misses, and then a delayed steal. Oh, looks like Osborne overslid the base and he's tagged out to end the top of the second inning. Canada runs itself out of the inning and the United States will come to bat with no score when we return. Moved up probably sometime soon when they can find a spot for him at Toledo as he puts a charge in this one to center field. Moving back is Duran and that ball is gone. Jacob Robson has tied it up in the fourth with a solo homer. Well, the U.S. didn't hold on to that one nothing lead for very long. And the righty's pitch hit in the air to left field and hit well. Back after it's Robson, and it's gone. A leadoff home run for Luke Williams and a 2-1 lead for the United States. 
beat just rolls on for Luke Williams, the second best hitter in this tournament statistically. Big drive off the bat of Cassis. Good bye. Tristan Cassis, that stuck in the top of the fence. He literally drilled it into the top of the fence, but it's still a home run. Over the main wall in right and stuck in, yeah, that kind of temporary fencing behind the right field wall. And at third base, Logan Forsythe stopped. Jesse Hodges pulled the ball out of the fence and threw it in. <laughs> 0 2 to Frazier. This ball is hammered to left, and it is way out of here. And the U.S. now with one more run will be up 10.